lifestyle vlogs, unboxing, and reviews. You in the right place. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe below because I do post two times a week. That's Sunday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, 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 if y'all clicked on today's video, y'all already know I'm coming back today with a Hummix case unboxing plus review for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Thank you so much, Hummix, for reaching out to me and making this video possible here today for me and my heart. Yes, I will make sure I link these cases down below in the description box, you know, just in case any one of my hearts want to go ahead and grab one of these. So, if y'all interested in anything I just said, go ahead and stay tuned. But before we go ahead and get into today's video, do not forget to go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up because it does let me know that y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel. Y'all definitely trying to see some more in the future. So let's not waste some time. Let's go ahead and hop right into today's unboxing. Let's go ahead and put my deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max on the scene. And this is going to be the first Humix Humix pronounce it how you choose to pronounce it case we will be unboxing they was kind enough to send me over one of their newer cases that support MagSafe which is really exciting even though y'all know y'all know y'all know but <laughs> we'll try that out later on in the video but let's get some close-ups of this box before we go ahead and open it up super simple packages straight to the point So this is a black one. Let's go ahead and get inside this box. So it does come with some instructions. So this is what this case is looking like outside the box. Y'all know the drill. Let's go ahead and get some close-ups of this case before we go ahead and try it on my phone. So this is like, the color is black translucent. So as y'all can see, it does appear to have a raised camera bump, which is always a win in my book. The cutouts is looking how they supposed to be looking. And the buttons actually feel, well I guess we can't really feel them until we put them on the phone, if y'all get what I mean. This is what the inside of the case is looking like. Since it is MagSafe compatible, which we will try later in the video. So let's go ahead and try this on. Super easy to snap on. And this is what this is looking like on my deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's go ahead and get some close ups. Y'all know how to clean the setup up. <laughs> it looks like it does slightly pick up fingerprints, which sucks because I hate when cases do that. But. So, as y'all can see, it does have a raised camera bump lip whatever you want to call it. So, it's always a plus in my book. And this case is a lot thicker than I thought it would be, which is a win for me, because y'all know I love me a bulky case. As y'all can see, the book is, cutouts is looking perfect. Easy access to that volume on and volume off button, but y'all know what y'all know. Buttons are clicky. Let's see if we also have a raised lip in the front. It looks like it has a slight raised lip, which y'all know what that means. It will be okay to lay your phone flat. So what would I rate this case on a scale from one to 10? I would give this an eight, mainly because I love the thickness of it. And y'all know, y'all know how I feel about me a bulky case. It does look super lightweight, but I don't know if it's the phone, but I don't know, it's feel kind of heavy, y'all. I'm not sure if I will feel comfortable dropping my phone with this case on. I don't know, y'all. I like the really, really heavy duty cases. Like, those type of cases make me feel super, you know, secure 
dropping my phone. I don't know, y'all. So, let's try this so, so I can see. So, you can use this as a stand as well, which is a plus. So, if you're out and about and you want to just pop your phone up real fast, you're trying to watch something, bam, there you go. Big plus. And we're actually going to try to max safe in the next. So here's my MagSafe charger and here's my brand new case. Y'all already know the area that I am recording in. I'm not able to plug it up, but I will let y'all know here on the screen how well it does charge with this case. So let's go ahead and see how easy it connects to the case. Let's see if it's some good magnets. I feel like the case does have good magnets. Y'all see it was just holding up. Okay, put it off to the side. One thing I am noticing during this review, we finna do a slight drop test, but I wanna just show y'all one thing real fast. I don't like how it's picking up these fingerprints though. Like, I don't like fingerprint magnets. Like, no, mm -mm. Y'all, my hands is not greasy, so I don't understand why it's picking up greasy fingerprints. But let's go ahead and do a quick drop test. Like I said, y'all, y'all want to drop y'all phones with these cases on, you know, just proceed with caution. Let me know what y'all think about the black translucent MagSafe case down in the comment section below. I'm going to go ahead and say I feel like it's worth the money, especially since it's super budget friendly. It's not a expensive case. Only thing I would say is if you don't like cases that pick up fingerprints easily, I would say skip out on the translucent case at least. Um, you might like the next option a little bit better. Let's just hope that one does not pick up fingerprints like this. I mean, look at this. Like, would that bother y'all? I really feel like I'd be nitpicking, but <laughs> mm -mm. whenever I spend money on cases, I would need to be satisfied because I'm queen. I'm queen of sending something back. I don't care if I gotta go buy a box and a post-it label. Like, I, I will send it back because I don't mind it. So with that being said, let's get ready and hop right into the next case and the next clip. Let's go ahead and put my deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max back on the scene. And this is going to be the next case that we will be unboxing from them. As y'all can see, this box is a lot bigger, but that's because this one actually comes with the case and a screen protector. So let's go ahead and get some close-ups of this box before we go ahead and open it up. So y'all yeah, literally like the box is identical to the other one except this one this is bigger let's see what they say right here so it says transparent aka clear let's go ahead and get on the inside So I didn't mention a screen protector or a camera lens protector because this case actually come with all that. So if y'all want to just go ahead and just get the whole bundle, bam, here y'all go. And all this is under 20 bucks. So let's go ahead and get some close ups of the stuff in this box before we actually just try the case on. Because y'all already know I got a camera lens protector on here and a screen protector. So And oh, it's like another. Y'all, this is fancy. This is super fancy, y'all. So as y'all can see, it does come with two camera lens protectors. And y'all know I'm always telling y'all to get these. So if y'all want to go ahead and get one of these cases, you know, it'll come with it. It also does come with two screen protectors. These are not privacy. Y'all know I love privacy. So if anybody need a screen protector or a camera lens protector, go ahead and hit me up. If y'all have some iPhone 14s iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max. So 
so we also have the installation kit so I'm gonna just go ahead and assume that this is if you're gonna you know install like the camera lens protectors and the screen protectors which I'm not gonna do so we can actually just go ahead and set this to the side So this is what this case is looking like and y'all know how I feel about clear cases. I don't recommend nobody to just get a flat clear case because y'all know how they be like, oh yeah, anti-yellow material and then it's still turn yellow. So I don't know, let's just get some close-ups of this case. I don't know why I'm super excited for this. Look how clean it is. This is like crystal. It does have a raised lip, camera bump lip, whatever. Call it what y'all want. I'm always calling it something different, but y'all know what I mean. Let's go ahead and try this on. Super easy to snap on. And this is what this is looking like on my deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I actually like the way it feels. It don't feel thin and flimsy, in my opinion. I'm actually gonna wear this case today. I'm actually gonna put like a little Polaroid picture back here. Cause don't y'all love when people phone be doing that? Y'all seen my Bing case unboxing. Because if y'all hadn't, I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description box and in the eye cards. But if you just got a clear case and you wanna go ahead and put a picture back though, bam, there you go. So this is what this case is looking like. Let's get some more close-ups. It does have a raised camera bump. Can y'all see the, y'all see that? It's kind of like textured on there. Cutouts, perfect. Buttons, hmm. These buttons feel kind of stiff. I ain't finna love y'all. Hmm, this can get a seven out of 10. Yeah easy access to that volume on and volume off button and then we do also have a slight raised lip in the front and we got some plastic <sighs> my favorite i can literally do that all day y'all all day so this is what this is looking like honestly I'm not the one to recommend clear cases like I just said, so I don't even want to like say that I would even recommend this to y'all. I would give this an eight though, because I really like the thickness of it. It don't feel cheap. The other case didn't feel cheap either, thank God. So, y'all let me know down in the comment section below what are y'all thoughts on the transparent slash clear case by them. I'm actually finna wear this today, y'all. Like, I can't believe it. Y'all know how I feel about clear cases, but. So, do I feel like this is worth the money? No comment. No comment. The other one, I feel like it's worth the money, but if you don't want something that's gonna pick up fingerprints, which this is actually picking up fingerprints too, it's like a fingerprint magnet, which I don't care for, so. I'm gonna have to give y'all a five for that. This is like smooth feeling. The other case was matte, so it don't feel slippery in my hand though, which is shocking. <laughs> so with that being said, we can do like another quick drop test of this case, and then we'll get ready and wrap this video up. All right, so that is my thoughts about these cases. Let me see if this takes MagSafe, even though I don't have the MagSafe ring. Let's see. I mean, it's on there. It's just not strong like how the MagSafe cases is. And I'm also just let y'all know on the screen right now if it actually worked for the case and, you know, how that go. So now, with that being said, like I said, if y'all want to go ahead and get them, I will link them down below in the description box. Let me know y'all thoughts on each case. And we actually just finna get ready and wrap this video up. Thank you again for sending this out for me and my hearts to unbox here on my channel today.
Now we can get ready and wrap this video up in the next clip. If we made it to the end of today's video, yes I see you and yes I do appreciate you. If y'all wanna see more content just like this and from me on my channel in the future, y'all know what y'all need to be doing. Yes I remind y'all at the beginning, but you know I love you many y'all. At the end, do not forget to go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up does let me know if y'all are interested in this type of content here on my channel and y'all definitely trying to see some more in the future it will also help push me and my channel to a wider audience so we can hit 1400 little hearts aka 1400 plus subscribers here on my channel so we can continue growing here on youtube also y'all know the drill y'all know what's coming next do not forget to go ahead and subscribe below because you already know i do post two times a week and i never ever 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 miss an upload yes y'all can fact check me on that but before i let y'all go i have to let y'all know that i do love and appreciate every single last heart here on my channel y'all know y'all forever in my heart and i will see y'all in my next upload bye y'all